it's Tori and Steve. Say hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. And he kind of speak a lot today because we're like on the back roads and it's a straightaway, no traffic, so he can talk. He can talk today. He can speak a lot. He can speak a lot today. So, yeah, we are on our way to Irika. Gonna go get some chicken feed and drop off some um, hot cocoa bombs. So, uh, it's you know pretty cold, 39 degrees. It's sprinkling a little bit here and there. Do you guys want to see what it looks like outside? While we hit this curve, see what it looks like? Yeah, it's like really nice. It's a nice day. So, kids are like, uh, Can I go? I'm like, No, <laughs> no, not the way that coronavirus is going on nowadays, right? But yeah, so peaceful day. I want to go get started on cooking something special and warm for the kids today. So probably like a caldo or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'm going to go do that. And Steve and I have 16 years. We celebrated our 16 year anniversary yesterday. 16 years. People are like, how do you do it? How did you do it? Because he's 27 years my senior. So the odds were against us, but you know what, here we are. It worked out so well. I was a little like crazy, so he like settled me right down to the ground and showed me what love is and what caring for someone is and um, just kind of accepted me for who I was and helped me along the way. So now we have Tori. Hey, everybody loves Tori. <laughs> Remember I went back to Texas and my friend was like, oh my God, I love you. I really, really like you now. I'm like, how bad was I? How bad was I, poor guy? I had to deal with this all this time. <laughs> I think just having patience with each other, right? Yeah. And I think that's uh, that kind of gets you through things. So, yeah. We have four kids, six in total that we're raising, so. And they're pretty damn good kids, I'll tell ya. Pretty good kids. It's real quiet up here in the mountains, so it's a really nice place to raise your kids as opposed to the ghetto and, you know, the city and all that stuff. Border towns, border towns is tough to be in border towns. I feel sorry for my kids that they have to go and live that life and go to school because it was really hard, right? You're always fighting, you're always having to defend yourself, you're always getting picked on, you're always getting bullied, and you know, not only just from your family, but from other kids too. <laughs> your family's the worst! Hispanic families, I swear, you can like graduate from high school and they're like, wait a minute, but how did you do that? You know, it's like, it's always so negative, but. <laughs> I mean, am I wrong? Yeah, it's true. It's it is so true. We're swinging at parties. Like, hey, I got a, I got a job. Nah. nah. How'd you get the job? <laughs> you know, it's nothing positive. Over here, he's like, oh, yeah, guys. Congratulations. It's so different. So, yeah, my kids would not survive. No, no. <laughs> nah, if they were to bring one of their little cousins over here, that cousin would be, oh, my God. I know. It's so different. It's, it's culture shock. Definitely a culture shock. And we forget a lot of our culture and a lot of like our traditions and not really forget them, but we don't um, use, implement them, I guess, as much in our lives as we should. So um, that's going to change. I've been trying to teach the kids Spanish too as well because they learned English and they correct my English all the time. So I think they got it down packed. <laughs> right? well, they, I believe they need to learn English first before they learn English. So I have like a OCD thing and I label everything in the kitchen. So every time I label something, I also label it in Spanish so they can learn their spices and what, you know, different foods are called and things like that. And yeah, that's my project right now. But actually I'm gonna start another project. My mom, my dear mom, my lovely mom that I love so much, sent me the new Cricut machine with like all the works. So I'm so excited to get started on it. I think I'm gonna make Steve like a barbecue bastard shirt and all this stuff. You know, it's like, I just have so many ideas going on right now. So I'm super stoked. We'll be doing videos of those too. So I don't know, I hope I get it. I hope I get it. I'm pretty sure I can get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll <laughs> yeah, he'll help me out. So I'm like, yeah, I'll get it. So anyways, you guys have a great Sunday and thank you guys for watching. See you, bye Steve. Bye Steve. Bye guys.